I am way more nervous with this. This is, uh, you know, I think truth be told, I would love to have had another year in the alcohol class before even considering doing what we're doing. But, um, you know, this wasn't, you know, the timing and this was a unique circumstance when your wife says she wants, she's ready to start a family and uh, mentions that she wants you to be on the list of potential drivers. It's, it's hard to tell her no. And I did it successfully in the spring and when the fall came here and, you know, we had more runs with the car. I, I, I feel like I felt a little bit more comfortable with being on that list, but um, ultimately, and I, and I told them that I was very specific in my discussion with those two about pick who is going to be best for the company. Do not, do not make this an emotional decision. This isn't a, I, I never pulled a trump card. I, I, I wasn't hundred percent convinced I was the right person for this, but um, that's what they decided and that's what they chose to go with. And they know this sport better than I do. So, um, you know, I trust her enough to marry her. I'm going to trust her enough for her to put me in a race car, I guess, too. Well, it was a little Leah's decision. I mean, everybody everybody asked all year, when are you going to run top fuel? I'm like, I'm never running top fuel because I'm never going to race against my wife. If, if you win, you get an e-ticket to the couch to sleep for the rest of your life. So uh, that didn't seem like it made sense. And Matt Hagen, he's big and stocky, and, and we love him to death. There's no way I would kick him out of his ride, obviously. So... Uh, I'm ve- I was very happy, and I was happy all year running the alcohol car. Loved racing with McPhillips family. Um, loved the competitors I was racing with on the alcohol side, and and I got the best of both worlds. I got to, you know, run my car with the alcohol side, go up and watch my cars that I own, and my wife and Matt run, and uh, then go back to the alcohol team. So uh, I got all of it. I got everything I wanted last year. But uh, you know, this is a decision that you know you you got to kind of factor some other variables in the equation so uh, that's that's what we're doing that's the goal don't suck and uh, you know there's a lot of ways that you can and so it's that's what's going to make preseason testing so important we've got to go make laps we've got to get comfortable in this car we've got to uh, be able to feel what the car is trying to tell us during the run and and it's things some of those things we've learned in the alcohol side but there's a lot more that are going to come with driving this top fuel car so uh, the testing is going to be a big deal but we got to let my shoulder heal first so uh, we just got it's like the craziest thing we got so many balls in the air with shoulder surgery leah trying to start a family uh, me making a change we, we've got a busy off season and a busy spring ahead of us like i said on the stage i i literally expected when we drove to the banquet on monday after the the race i i figured it was about a 70 percent chance that she was going to say hey i want to push this back a year and if she did that was totally fine uh, you know i wanted it to be on her time that, that that's a i don't think we can I can't even wrap my head around how tough of a decision it was for her to make to to pull herself out of a race car after her best season ever uh, to start a family and and then feel comfortable putting her husband in her race car which she might not be as smart as i thought she was but she's 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 amazing so uh, she she definitely uh we we complement each other i think she makes me a stronger person I, i felt like i was a strong person anyway but you know, everything that, that she uh, brings to our family and, and brings to this relationship, she just makes us stronger, and both of us just kind of feed off of each other. It's a coin flip either way. You know, difficult for me to get out of the seat when we have so much moment, momentum, and everything that we worked on during the year proved to work, and so that gives a lot of life into the things we move on to next year. So knowing what we our capabilities are and not being in that seat That's the difficult part, and I say the other side of the coin flip is knowing that all of our hard work has created this well-performing situation, and Tony's going to get into that. If we if we had a subpar year, and I got out, I would feel I would actually feel bad. Like Tony, okay, yeah, not only are you getting in this car, but like we also have a collective lot of work to do to get this team. Where that's the that's the heads up side is. I, I feel good and and I do think I think the Lord for him building me the way that he has like I'm an internal cheerleader and I want nothing but my husband and my team to succeed whether that's me or that's him so I don't have this other thought process of like negativity associated to it and I'm very mindful about that in, in all parts of my life but yeah when I went through the final against Doug and my wind light didn't come on I'm literally still going 300 miles an hour and the words out of my mouth were, wow, I really got to come back. (laughs) That was, that was it. And you know, I wasn't 
the thought would creep in my mind during Pomona. If we do win this championship, what am I going to do? How is this going to, is this going to affect the decision I've already made? Is it just going to make it easy peasy, won this championship? We'll see if I come back. And I hadn't made that decision. I didn't, I didn't want to be in touch with my feelings during that day. And when I exhaled that at 300 miles an hour with the shoots out, it answered my question right there of like, I'll be back. So we focus on what our objectives are. And his was to run the alcohol series, compete for a championship, and learn. It was never build enough experience to get in the top fuel car. Uh, but when he, when, when I was trying to speak about our plans with this other individual, and he goes, well, what about me? And it was really because this other individual didn't have top, top fuel experience either. Uh, extremely great race car driver. Lyle Barnett is who it is. And so fan favorite all the way around, capable of driving pretty much anything. But Tony goes, I have not the exact same experience, but I do have more fuel experience. And I mean, the moment your husband goes, what about me? And it technically, it's our team, but it's, it's Tony Stewart racing. Um, that just changed the whole dynamic of that conversation. And I felt bad that he even had to literally raise his hand. But you, like I said, we hadn't talked about it in months and that's how open we have to be. And he said, you know, he's the husband for 30 seconds. And yeah, when he was, talking team owner of well well what about this and what about that and I go there's always going to be a what about this my mom always said there's never the perfect right time to start a family you just do it and you make it happen so that's the plan we're on